solar systems uh, should all be connected to the grid. You know, and here we see a, this is an electronic meter. Um, because in the daytime you produce more power than you need. So even battery backup systems should be connected to the grid if they can be. And, and when it, what a battery backup system means is that if the grid goes down, your, 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 your home electric or your critical circuits remain in, in operation because the inverter is smart enough to go to the battery. So, and in fact, it's phase locked with the grid. When the grid goes down, all inverters have to disconnect from the grid, but the battery backup inverter is different than a normal grid tie inverter. The battery backup inverter, um, within 1 60th of a second, uh, calls on the batteries to uh, pick up the load. So here's the way you do it. In this, um, this is an old, old time panel, you know, so probably needs to be replaced. And, and there's my little, little thing which says solar circuit. Uh, there's, um, this circuit goes um, as a new circuit that's in there, and it goes to the inverter. And that's the inside of the inverter, and uh, that's that wire that goes there. Uh, the inverter's in the garage. Um, the outside of the inverter, the out, goes into this new sub-panel. So all we had to do was take a bunch of circuits from the main panel and, and then move them into this sub-panel here. So those, we didn't actually have to go into the wiring of the house at all. Just create this new sub-panel, put the four circuits here, feed those, <laughs> they're going to the same place in the house that they went to, feed those from the outside of the inverter. So the inside of the inverter comes from the main panel, goes to the inverter. The out from the inverter goes to the sub-panel, and, and those go to the existing uh, house wires. So the, the wiring at the, at the meter is pretty simple. Now the, the wiring at the inverter is a little different. A normal grid tie inverter just takes the power from the roof and turns it into AC and puts it into the main panel. The battery backup inverter has an AC sign and a DC sign. The DC sign gets its power from the peak power tracker, which is uh, then connected, you now the DC comes in here. The DC side is also connected to the batteries. So uh, the solar panels and the battery provide DC power. And normally, this is not even used. Normally, um, the inverter just takes power, goes in and goes out. And when there's too much power from the system on the roof, the extra power goes into the inverter and then goes out to the grid. And that's why every battery backup system should be connected to the grid if we can do it, because uh, you have too much power in the daytime. You know, right now it's afternoon, and um, uh, we're making 800 watts, but we were 2,500 watts earlier. Uh, so, you know, if we didn't have the, um, the grid to put the power in, we, we would fill up our batteries and they would, they would burn. That's what the peak power package, uh, the peak power tracker and uh, charge controller does. The charge controller ensures that the battery voltage doesn't get too high. If the grid goes down, the uh, the charge controller will shut off the um, the will shut off the the panels in the daytime, so it doesn't burn up the batteries. So every battery backup system has to have a charge controller. The peak power tracker. Uh, maximizes the uh, the amperage over uh, lower voltage because the the voltage it's a voltage amperage converter. So uh, when the, the power comes in to the DC side and then uh, fills up the batteries and then it goes into the system. On the AC side, the power comes in and goes out normally. Now when the grid goes down, all inverters have to have to isolate from the grid because you can't power the whole city. So when the, when the grid goes down, uh, this, this, this in part is cut off, but the out part now uh, goes to the batteries. And the batteries will keep the, the critical circuits running in emergency mode for uh, two days or so until the, the uh, sun comes up again, and then the sun will recharge the batteries. So we could go off grid if we had to, but we would have too much power in the daytime. You know, we'd be wasting our power because the charge controller would stop the power in the daytime when our little battery pack was full. So we'd have to run the excess power, you know, maybe charge up our cars with the excess power. <laughs> but this story is, you're, you know, you're really in, in the, whether you can go off grid or not, you really want to be connected to the grid because you, you'd like to push power into the grid when it needs it most. 
which is in the daytime uh, peak summer. It doesn't, the grid doesn't need energy any other time.